And one of the most important issues that I want to raise here is you might have already seen in media is that the Afghan refugees back in Indonesia, they're in a very destitute situation. And uh, for some, uh, they are, it's been 10 years that they are living over there, but they do not uh, practice their uh, basic human rights. Yeah. Is there any plan for well, them as I well? I have a slightly different view. Um, they want to be resettled to third countries. You know, resettlement is not an automatic right. You have to go through a process, and if you are recognized as eligible for resettlement, then uh, you and will go to a third it country. Because it's been 10 years for them. It's well, a but many of them time. have, um, their, pro their processes have failed. They have not succeeded. So there is no solution in third countries, and uh, they have to remain in Indonesia if they do not want to come back in Afghanistan. This is the problem. The problem is that some countries host Afghan refugees and would like all of them to be resettled and put pressure on that. And this is not always possible. Resettlement is the choice of third countries. So we can facilitate and we do whenever we can, but we cannot oblige any country to take uh, refugees um, on resettlement programs. It's a voluntary program. And what, uh, since you came here to Afghanistan, uh, I'm not sure that w w you might have uh, gone to some places and meet some of the Afghans or not, the IDPs I mean. How did you find the uh, situation of Afghans here inside the country? There is still a very large displacement problem in the country. Uh, more than 3 million people have been displaced, not recently, over the years, uh, by conflict and by violence. Last year alone, 2021, more than 600,000. 